So right now he's trying to catch a newt. In this water here, we were standing on the rocks and there's little water newts all over the place. And we are in the middle of Lonesome Lake. I touched him. You touched him. He's trying to catch one, but I told him he couldn't do it. This is Jimmy. Oh, he's swimming. I caught him swimming. No. Oh, he just went for air. It was perfect. We were going to go swimming, but there's a cold wind up here and the water's freezing. So we're just having fun looking for newts. I met a nice young lady on the hike up. Talked a bunch, so if you're watching this, hello. Bunch of people swimming. Well, they were swimming. It's kind of chilly out now. So while we were hiking, I came back and I was like, oh, we don't need to put our food away because animals only eat your shit at night. And I came back and my bag that had like mixed nuts in it was just like ripped apart because I left it. It was like the only thing I left. Um, I knew I was taking a chance. I didn't think it was going to happen, but it did. And this guy is eating the rest of it. Look at him eating my banana chips. I hope they taste good, man. He's stuffing his cheeks so wide. I'm not worried about it. Most of my food I did leave in... Wow, look at that a hippie van. It's like my dream car. It's totally my dream car. I want a hippie van. This is my friend. He's looking at tarot cards. The artwork is really cool. So fun fact, I have a lot of friends that are in tarot cards and while I don't fully believe in it, I think it's very interesting. Um, and every single time I've ever had a tarot reading, I get the high priestess. And I was telling him this as he was looking through his cards, and I look through the deck, and the first one I pull out was the priestess. Every single time I get the priestess. It's so weird. So, like, if you believe in that kind of stuff, it's, it, I don't know if you can see it in the camera. Those, that orange right there, that is the mountain. So the light is just, like, shining on the mountains. The, uh, the mountains are literally just like orange hills like in the sky. It's like we like I don't know it's hard to explain because you can't really see it but it's just we're surrounded by orange because we got orange on that side. That's just the sky. That's just clouds and then that. I don't know. It's just nice to be outside. Cold? Okay. It's like hanging out in a blanket. I don't know if you can hear me because it's kind of loud with the water. But I've done the show four times. Every time I've done the fall, I just love that waterfall. I took videos of the newts and everything yesterday. It's pretty far away though. So I made it to the top of Lafayette. What time is it? It is 12.48. It took us three hours to get up here from the bottom of Falling Waters. We started at 9.45. So exactly three hours to get up. I think it should take us a little less to get down. Right now we're kind of hiding out from the wind so I can't really show you the view, but I will get some video of it. But it's like so windy that I don't like talking into the camera. But like we're in this cool little castle structure. If you want to take a look. Um, 
I don't know. I don't know what this. If somebody has like built this as a structure to keep away from the wind or what, but I, I dig it. There is a lot of people out today. So we actually got to the top of. I was going up Lincoln, and I was like, "This is the last ascent. I don't have to do any more after this." And I got to the top, and then I saw Lafayette in the distance, and I'm like, "This isn't Lafayette at all. This is Lincoln." <laughs> it's gonna be nice going down because I am exhausted. It's been a while since I've done a mountain this intense. Um, I've been doing some smaller mountains, but it's nice. It's a great day. Like it's been really chilly actually. The sun's barely out. Every time the sun comes out, I just like get struck. Like right now, the sun's coming out. Every single time I was hiking up the mountain, I would just stop and enjoy the sun because it's kind of few and far between today. Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking. Just wanted to wish everybody a happy 4th of July from the top of Lafayette. Decided to go hiking today because look how beautiful it is. It's fucking amazing. This is great. Hi Kyle. Hey. So we're on our way down the old brittle path. Uh, we just stopped in the Greenleaf Hut. I didn't know this and I wish I got video of it because I didn't think about it until I was already walking down. But they actually have books in the Greenleaf Hut back at from like the 50s and the 60s and every all those books they're like dated from year to year and there's just been people that have signed it and like put where they're from and the date they visited to kind of like just remember like every single person that's like kind of passed in there not every single person obviously nobody's gonna, not everybody's gonna write their name but a lot of people that have wrote their names and that's pretty cool anyway I wanted to show you this path here it's kind of a steep path there but right behind us, that's Lincoln, where we were a minute ago. That's a little haystack, and then behind me, you can't really see it behind these trees, but that's Lafayette. And if you look, you see that road right there? Our car is right there. So that's how far we have to go. 